Bond, do you have any idea why Facebook would shut down my ad account multiple times? Am I doing something wrong? Can I read anything anywhere? Well, you're in luck. You can watch this video. I get questions like that all the time, and chances are, if you're watching this video, that might have happened to you too. So what we're gonna do in this video is diagnose what went wrong, show you how to reach out to Facebook to fix it, and give you some tips so that it doesn't happen again. Okay, the first thing that we do is stop freaking out if you are. Yes, it sucks when your Facebook ad account gets shut down, but we can take action steps to get that ad account back up, rocking, and rolling. To do that, jump into your ads manager. Typically, there's going to be a red bar at the top telling you that your account's been disabled. If that's the case, go ahead and click that bar and follow the steps to submit a form explaining your situation and making an appeal to Facebook to get that account back up and running. If you don't see that red bar and perhaps you've been emailed to tell you that your account has been disabled, in Ads Manager, there's different ways that we can reach out to Facebook support. To do that, you would click this question mark in a circle at the top right-hand corner of your ad account. And then scroll all the way to the bottom to this blue button that says, still need help. The beauty about clicking this button is that the page that it launches, sometimes, fingers crossed that it's for you, it has instant chat available with the Facebook support team. When you have instant chat, you can talk back and forth and help that appeal process go by even quicker. If they're not available on chat though, we can submit a form to file a complaint. Now the URL for this one is not easy to say, so I've went ahead and linked it in the description below this video. On this form, you're gonna answer a few quick questions for Facebook and then tell them about the situation. First, is this your advertising account that you are appealing or are you an agency or ad manager running ads for a client? Once you've selected yes or no, you're going to choose the ad account that this shutdown pertains to. Now, if for some reason the advertising account is not showing up in that drop down menu, be sure to add your ad account ID to the description below with the details to help them investigate. To quickly find your ad account ID, head back into Ads Manager and you're gonna go up to the URL at the top. You'll see that there is the word act for your account and then the equal sign and then a long string of numbers after that. That is your account number. Now we're gonna give them the account number, not your business manager ID. Copy and paste those numbers and bring it over and give Facebook all the details they need to understand why you were in compliance in the first place. Once you submit your appeal, it's gonna feel like it takes forever for Facebook to get back to you. But to track the status of your appeal, you can go to facebook.com forward slash support. In the support inbox, you're gonna see if the case is still open or closed and the results of that case. The first thing that a lot of us wanna do when they don't hear back right away is reach out immediately to Facebook and pop it back to the top of their inbox, but I don't recommend that. However, if the appeal comes back and it's not in your favor, this is where you can respond if you disagree with Facebook's decision. Best case scenario, Facebook is gonna reinstate your ad account, which is a huge win, because that means you save all of those beautiful custom audiences that you've created with your Facebook pixel, your Facebook page, and your Instagram business profile. So let me give you five tips for this not to happen in the future. The first thing is following the Facebook advertising policies. Yes, I know, I'm a rule follower, and so should you be when it comes to your Facebook ad account. Typically, accounts are shut down because they're not following some of the simple rules that Facebook lays out within these guidelines. When you look at the Facebook advertising policies, I specifically want you to look at the prohibited content and the restricted content section. You have complete control over following these rules or not. Next up, when you create that new ad account, add in a new credit card number. Because what happens is Facebook puts that credit card that was previously on your old account on a banned list. So you wanna make sure that this credit card number is one that you haven't used with a Facebook ad account in the past. My next recommendation is to have a lawyer craft your privacy policy and website terms. The reason that we want to have a bulletproof privacy policy and website terms is to clearly communicate to Facebook that we 
are a reputable legal entity. We're talking about banned Facebook ad accounts, but this is also beneficial to your user experience. Having a solid privacy policy, terms and conditions, and even a refund policy on your website is great for your customer experience. Have you ever clicked a link on the internet and all of a sudden you're bombarded with a quadrillion different pop-up messages all at once? Well, those users are going to abandon your website ASAP. Facebook calls that poor user experience a non-functional landing page. And you can see all their examples of this in their Facebook advertising policies under prohibited content. So you wanna make sure that the people visiting your website have a cohesive user experience. Your fonts are big and bold and easily legible. Your pictures are bright and clear. And everything that they need to know is laid out exactly as they expect when they're clicking from your ads over to your website. And for tip number five, I'm putting my mama bond pants on and saying, learn your lesson with this. Take accountability when your Facebook ad gets shut down because nine times out of 10, it's something that we did, whether it was intentional or not. Now you know exactly what steps to take in the future so that this doesn't happen to you again. So good luck and my fingers are crossed that you get that ad account reinstated. Check out this playlist where we'll help you revisit some of the Facebook advertising basics. So good luck and I'll see you over there.